Let's do this. Hello and welcome to FDS MTG News for Tuesday, July 19th, 2022. On his Tumblr on July 15th, Mark Rosewater answered a question about the reserve list. He basically said, and I'm paraphrasing, we are aware that most players don't like it, we've known that for a long time, but it doesn't make any of the other obstacles go away. So this is yet another signal that the reserve list is here to stay. What are those other obstacles, you ask? Some would say it's Wizards' squeamishness at risking the bedrock of MTG collectability. Others say that the risk of a suit due to promissory estoppel is keeping them at bay. Personally, I just think it's those at Wizards shoring up their retirement funds. You know Mark Rosewater has something like 60 black lotuses hiding in a safe deposit box somewhere, and he's gonna cash those suckers in when he retires. Though we all know that Mar probably will never retire because he's one of those blessed souls that gets to do what he loves to do for a living. Aaron Forsyth, on the other hand, is absolutely ready to cash in. Mark Rosewater announced on Twitter on July 10th that he will be leading the San Diego Comic-Con MTG panel on July 23rd. He said he was excited to show the presentation. Much speculation has been had on what he will be talking about Dominaria United. It's probably going to be Dominaria United or Infinity, probably both. On July 18th, Wizards posted an article on the Magic website announcing they are ceasing production of Magic the Gathering in the following languages in tabletop, Russian, Korean, and Chinese traditional. Magic Arena will continue to support Korean and Russian. They will continue to support WPN stores in those regions, but all products and promotional materials will be in English. This brings the official supported languages in tabletop to English, Japanese, Chinese simplified, French, Italian, Spanish, and Portuguese. And no, you aren't going crazy, and yes, the audio and video are not in sync because this story broke after I finished recording so I decided to do a bad dubbing of a video of me reading another story from this episode. Aren't I cheeky? The Amazon product listing for Dominaria United confirms that there will be a legendary in every pack, much like the Dominaria set that was released a few years ago. Does this signal a return of the historic mechanic that was well received at the time? Probably, but we'll have to wait and see. This is a bit of old news, but the Fortnite secret layer has been revealed. It includes Planar Bridge, Smuggler's Copter, Wrath of God, Dance of Money, Triumph of the Hordes, Ethereum Sculptor, and Grim Tutor, all under Fortnite-styled names, The Cube, Battle Bus, Shrinking Storm, Dance Battle, Battle Royale, Supply Llama, and Crack the Vault. There also will be a basic land secret layer called Landmarks and Locations that each feature well-known locations within Fortnite. The Fortnite secret layer will be going live on July 21st. Personally, I don't play Fortnite and I probably won't get these cards, but if you like Fortnite and you want these cards, I'm happy for you. Go get them. On July 19th, Nate from FDS MTG News announced a schedule change to his Friday videos on an episode of FDS MTG News. And yes, I've done this very same gag before on a previous episode of FDS MTG News. And yes, I will probably do it again. It's a thing now. Anyway, if you pay attention to this channel, you may have noticed that the Friday videos have been not happening. Well, there is a very good reason for that. I decided to make some changes to my pre-production and production process, which has the side effect of being longer a lot longer. So the Friday video schedule will be a little wonky in the next few months, but my goal is to get at least two Friday videos out a month once I get my process figured out. Please note that this does not affect FDS MTG news and this show will continue chugging along as normal. So please keep tuning in every week for FDS MTG news. That about does it for today. Follow me on TikTok and Twitter at FDS underscore MTG and be sure to check out our Discord link below. Thank you so much and click on stuff. On his Tumblr on July 15th, Mark Rosewater answered me, 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 me. So this is yet another signal that the reserve Personally, I just think it's wizards shoring up their retirement firms that there will be a legendary in every me, 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 me. take it back, take it back. You forgot to do what you wanted to do. Mark Rosewater. Why am I doing this eyebrow thing? Every time I say Mark. Mark. Mark Rose did <laughs> again, damn it. <laughs> Mark Rosewater announced <laughs> See now I'm like Bust keep eyebrows down. Okay, the Amazon product listing. <laughs> what is it with every story? My eyebrow just flying up my head, forehead. The Amazon product listing for Dominaria United confirmed for terms, much like the Domin. <laughs> the Amazon product listing for Dominaria United. Dom Dominaria. <laughs> that is a hard set name to say, and it is going to be a funny couple of months of me talking about stories about it. Anyway, if you pay attention to this channel, you may- Please note this does not affect FDS MTG news. N nose? 
On July 19th, Nate from FDSMTG News announced a schedule change to his Friday videos on the um, so the Friday so the Friday videos. This show is part of the CIP Network, inspiring creativity, one episode at a time.